Hello everyone, welcome to Nitya Cloud Tech. In this video, we are going to discuss about filtering rows and how to select a specific column. So actually what happened in data warehousing project, we have, you know, like, let's say we have 50 columns in a table or it would be, you know, more than 50 as well. Now, I don't want to select all the 50 columns. I only need to select, let's say, five columns. So how will I select the specific column? We are going to see this in this video. So this is the part one of this video. And if I talk about next part, so in the next part, we are also going to filter the rules. So let's say we have thousand of rows in our table. Okay. And uh, let's say I have employee table and we have different department, let's say 10, 20, 30. But I want to see only 20 department rules. Okay. So how will I see that? So let's say in 10 department, there are 500 employees. In 20 department, there are 200 employees. And in 30, there are 300 employees. So I don't want to see the whole row. So how can I filter the row? And how will I choose the specific column? We are going to see two things. How can I select specific column? And how do I filter the rows? And along with that, we will also want to see logical operator. So let's say along with department, we have job description as well. Let's say we have different job description, clerk, manager, sales. So I want to see the records which has, which belongs to department 10 and whose employee I, whose whose uh, job is killer or manager. So I need to put two conditions here. So I will use that as well using logical operator. Okay, so let's start. Let me move into the database. So in the previous video, we have seen how we can uh, read the CSV file. So this is the same. So see. We have, if you see, we have three columns here and five rows. Now, let's see, I want to see only one column. Let's say sales. So how will I see? I will simply use df.select. And then I will put the column name. So I am looking for sales column. So if I run this, it will give me the data frame and the column name and the data type. To see the data, I need to put show here. See, now I'm able to see the sales column. Another way, I can put this into the another variable. If I don't want to put show here, and then I can write df1.show like this. Okay, so we can do in the both way. Okay, now let's say I'm looking for two columns. So there are three columns I have showed you. Let me show you again. Now I am looking for two columns, let's say sales and category. So how will I do that? Let me show you again. So I will again write df.select. And I will do little changes in my code. So I will put this into the list. So sales and then let's say category. So I'll put comma and mention category here and I can put this into the variable let's say df1 and then 
F1 dot see i have now two columns so like this we may have you know hundred of columns and whatever the required columns we can select in the list like putting comma and then select multiple columns okay so i hope this is clear now let's discuss about how we can filter the rows so now let me remove this and uh, let me put df dot show all Okay, now I have five rows. Now let's say I want to filter the data. I want to see the category who belongs to CL only. I want to see the value of category whose value is CL only. Now let me show you what we can do for this. We will write df dot filter, and after that, I will simply write category here, and after that, equals to fears. I need to use double equal to. So this is my string start from here and end and here i have put in the inverted form okay again what i can do i can comment this above one and i can assign this into one of the variable that's df1 and then df1 dot so see i have only tears now okay so filter function is basically used to filter the data and uh, to choose the uh, you know filter value i have uh, put the column here and the value here so like this we can pass okay now let's say i i am looking for both here and another uh, value let me comment this and show you the whole rows I have tiers, labels, table. Let's say I'm looking for tiers and tables as well. So for that, I'm going to use logical operator. So let me show you how we can use logical operator. So again, df1 equals to, I will write df dot filter. And after that, I need to use another bracket for two different conditions. So let's say this is df dot category. And it comes to tiers. After that, I will put all. So for all, we use this all operator using this pipe symbol. And for end, we use m person. So right now I'm using all. Okay, and I will copy this whole and paste it here. And uh, instead of tiers, I am looking tables here. Right. So I have both conditions. So I will get two reports, tables and tiers. So what I did, I have used df dot filter. After that, I use this uh, whole you know open and close parenthesis, open and close parenthesis for a specific column and accordingly what whatever value i'm providing so in this case i'm providing here and here i'm providing tables okay now i can simply write we have one dot two so see i have two reports now okay similarly we can use and operator so let's say uh, I have uh, this category and uh, let's say I have uh, this sales. So what I can do, I can simply write and here and we have got sales. Okay. 
and uh, I am looking for let's say this one seven three one one nine four. Okay. My gamma lifts. So see, I have now one more. Why? Because I have filtered using and operator right here. So if you see here, CS and CS value. But my second condition is not matching tables and this value. Okay. So in this way, we use filter and uh, you know, the logical operator and uh, we choose a specific column. So I hope this video is clear for you. Thank you, everyone.